Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at our market leading ETFs uh, through our proprietary scans for the coming week. This is going to be for Monday, October 20th, 2014. We've got an expiration Friday, which uh, usually tends to pin things to, to levels. The, uh, the spiders are kind of uh, uh, pinned to a key level off of the ES, since the ES is the, is the key derivative, of course. So not seeing a lot of net movement here. Fairly tight with the VWAP. Smaller stuff is a little bit weaker. The IWM you can see is one and a half percent below the day's open and a half percent below the day's VWAP. So we're definitely seeing more weakness there. They were the first to bounce the small caps, and so we're actually starting to see a little bit of a, a little bit of a retreat from those. The MDY has a contra candle to the downside, but it's playing playing out with very very light volume so far today. Moving on to the uh, individual domestic sectors, we're definitely biased to the to the sell side here. There's a fair amount of contra candles, meaning that uh, the ETFs are up on the day, but below the day's open, which is actually a sign of weakness and a sign of distribution. So be on guard for things that have that condition and also have volume bumps. We've got a couple of volume bumps here, XRT, XHV, the TAN, and we may even qualify for one in the uh, OIH, which is uh, actually very, 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 very weak this afternoon. 2% below the day's VWAP. Uh, so seeing some real weakness start to to uh, climb back into the uh, energy name, so they're really not following through very well. Moving on to the commodities themselves, a little bit to the sell side. Um, silver's got a downside CPS, as does the GDX. UNG has a has an upside contraindication. Bonds uh, trading fairly late volume here um, after having a lot of volatility this week, so uh, make sure you uh, watch the opening day's range on Monday and then, uh, and then uh, see how that interacts with, with the previous um, three or four days because we did have some climactic type activity in the TLT and on the con on the contra side the TBT as well. Foreign names definitely seeing a volume bump in the RSX. That one's not holding up that well. That's actually half a percent below the day is open. Uh, the VWAP, excuse me. FXI and the EM are both uh, flirting with contra contra candles to the downside. So nothing on the upside. Uh, indicated in the uh, in the foreign names, which is uh, which is interesting today. Moving on to the specials, um, it is expiration day, so we do have some movement and uh, some volume, as you can see. But on balance, we don't really have a clear theme here. We're a little bit biased to the short side, but uh, nothing nothing too extreme. All right, folks. So here's a look at our our ETFs via our watch list with our uh, bar counts on them. As you can see, there's there's nothing that's really all that close right now. We, you can see we do have uh, some things that are about six days along, but nothing that's uh, that's eight or nine. Uh, the VNQ is seven days along in the uh, in the uh, in the self startup phase, but uh, not too, but not enough to uh, ring the bell this week. So keep an eye on that for next week. Uh, the TAN is uh, is ten days down in the uh, in the Comer, so that could fire next week. As could uh, things that are nine as well. The XLK and also the XLI could also uh, be interesting. The XLE. Um, while being down a lot, has not completed what it needs to do to record that uh, that buy signal. It's only 11 days down in the aggressive um, countdown, and nine days down the, san the standard seeker countdown. So we're uh, not quite there, and uh, could uh, definitely be in for a retest and uh, perhaps even even lower lows. So keep on keep keep on top of those bar counts, and if they do fire, definitely want to be involved in those because uh, the reversal should have some uh, good energy. Uh, no pun intended, because the, the the move has been pretty extreme. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for Trade Site.